Hey guys, thank you for joining me for reading today. So uh, today we're gonna read a story called The Nice Mitten. And that goes back with our essential question for the week, what is a folktale? And so we've talked about how a folktale is a made up story that's been passed down through many, many generations, like grandparents to grandkids to great grandkids, that kind of thing where the story has been around for a very long time. We don't even know who the author is who originally wrote it because it has been around for that long. So in this story, we're going to read about a little boy's lost mitten. Yes, yeah, so you can already tell that this is a fantasy story. You probably wouldn't have all of these animals crawling into a mitten. Think about a mitten that you would wear on your hand. Do you think all of these animals could crawl into it? Probably not. All right. Once upon a time, a boy named Lance went out to pick up sticks. His mom gave him nice red mittens in case his hands got cold. Take the mittens and keep them safe, his mom said. But as Lance left, he ran fast and lost a mitten at the edge of the wide forest. Five mice saw the mitten. This is a nice place to rest they said. So the happy mice went in and rested. So all those mice are climbing into the mitten. Then a rabbit raced by. This is a nice place for hiding, she said. So the rabbit went in and hid. The mitten puffed up a bit. So it seems like the mitten is getting bigger so that it can fit the animals that need a place to rest. Next, a hedgehog came sniffing by. This is a nice place for taking a nap, he said. So the hedgehog went in and slept. The mitten puffed up a bit more. Just then, a big bear came by. This is a nice place to get warm, he said. So the big bear went in. The mitten puffed up from all the animals in it. It puffed up as much as a mitten can. At last, a black cricket came by. This is a nice place, he said. We do not have any space, said the animals in the mitten. But the black cricket went in, and just as he did, rip, snap, pop. When Lance came back, there was not a trace of red mitten left. So sad. So what you can do now is you can go back to the beginning of the video you can go back to the beginning of the story and you can try to read it on your own. So think about what happened to Lance. Um, we can talk about cause and effect. So cause is what makes something happen in a story and the effect is the event that happens. So in order to decide which is which, ask what happened and why did it happen? So let's look back in the story. So the mom said, take the mittens and keep them safe. But as Lance left, he ran fast and lost a mitten. So he lost his mitten because he ran fast. So losing the mitten is the effect and he ran fast is the cause. All right. Thanks so much guys for joining me. 